Just a minute. On today's show, the samurai. About 1,000 years ago, the country of Japan was divided into provinces, and each province had its own ruler. These rulers were called daimyo. These rulers maintained control of their territories with the assistance of their highly well-trained and loyal soldiers. These were the legendary samurai. The samurai dedicated their lives to the martial arts and their masters. They were experts with the bow and arrow, the sword, and hand-to-hand -hand combat. They were also renowned horsemen. That's what they did for all day. Sort of. But the samurai lived their lives by a strict code of ethics called Bushido, which means the way of the warrior. They believed in honor and duty above all else and had little interest in goods or wealth. If a samurai's master asked that he take his own life, he would do it without a question. If his master said fight, he fought. If his master said kill, he killed. A samurai would never run away from a fight and would enter any battle no matter what the odds. To die in battle for one's master was considered a high honor and brought great honor to a samurai's name and family. It's a cultural thing. The samurai maintained their position till about 150 years ago. Even though it is no longer legal to practice the samurai way of life, their descendants continue to maintain leadership roles in Japan till this very day. And now for a bit you didn't know this. If a samurai failed in his duty, he had one course of action. Take his own life in the ritual called harakiri. He would cut open his stomach with a short sword and then have a friend or relative chop off his head. Could be worse. 